there is this stigma around veganism and it's been around for so many years that we're judgy and that we're pushy and that if you're not doing everything perfectly, then you're not doing it right. My name is Sarah Goody and I am a 16 year old youth climate activist from the San Francisco Bay Area and the founder of Climate Now, which is a youth led organization that works to educate young people about the issue of climate change and provide them with the resources to go out into their communities and make a difference. For a livable planet, what do we want it? now? When I understood just how detrimental this issue of animal agriculture was, not only to animals, but to our environment, I knew that I had to do something. And the least I could do was create, take a personal change to benefit our environment and benefit those animals. So I went vegan around that time and continued a vegan diet for about three more years. And it wasn't until this year that I switched more to just an overall plant-based diet. And that's because I was looking for other food options and my neighbors have a bunch of chickens and they lay eggs all the time. So they always had extra eggs to spare. And I realized that maybe I could still be helping the planet and still be helping animals in the same way, even if I was eating these eggs that were sustainably grown. In my mind, the three biggest pros of switching to a vegan or plant-based diet is that one, it's extremely beneficial to our planet and to our environment. Two, it can be super beneficial in helping your own personal health. And then three, it acts as a gateway into taking other environmental actions and changing your lifestyle to better impact the environment. I think the three biggest cons or kind of negative associations with a vegan diet or a plant-based diet is that one, not all products and ingredients that go into plant-based foods are helping the environment. There's still ingredients and processes that go into both a plant-based or a traditional meal that are harming the environment. For example, like palm oil or plastic. Being vegan can help your personal health. Not all vegan foods have a lot of nutritional value. You can still eat vegan junk food, but say you're vegan. And then three, not all vegan food is affordable or accessible to people in the United States and all around the world. I think everyone should first understand where their diet is negatively or positively impacting the environment. It's that awareness and general understanding that starts the conversation about how we can better impact our environment. And then from there, making small little changes baby steps into becoming more plant-based or even if you want to become vegan, making those small steps to hopefully attain that goal. You don't have to all of a sudden cut animal products from your diet you know, today, but you can over time start to make those changes and those switches to a more plant-based diet.